Hello you guys, welcome back to another video. We're starting off in my bathroom today. We're gonna be getting this whole house cleaned, but before we get into it, I wanted to tell you guys about a new deodorant that I've been using. Over on Instagram, I shared with you guys, if you follow me on Instagram, that I was trying out a new deodorant that is aluminum free, vegan, all the good stuff, and I absolutely fell in love with it because these actually smell amazing love the ingredients obviously shea butter coconut oil for the moisture but these smell so good and i'm all about good smelling things so when they have great ingredients and they smell amazing it's a win for me so these have aluminum refillable containers so i have these two look how freaking cute but the brand is wild and I'm really excited to be partnering with them. I have fresh cotton and sea salt in this one. So like I said, these are aluminum refillable deodorant cases. And then you can get the refills on a super flexible subscription service right to your front door. The refills are actually made out of compostable bamboo. But Wild is all about getting rid of like the single use plastic in bathroom products. So they've got body wash and deodorant. They're gentle on your skin. They don't have any harsh chemicals or aluminum salts or parabens. You can change to a new scent whenever you'd like and they do ship worldwide. So that is amazing. We did get hooked up with a discount code. It is Kristen20. So that will save you 20% and I will have all the info in the description box for you guys so you can just click that link use the code like I said I'll have all the info in the description box for you guys but check out wild and I have that discount code for you which is Kristen 20 so link to the description box all right we're gonna jump right on into it we have a ton of stuff to get picked up put away wiped down vacuumed all of the things in the entire house today so we're gonna start off in the kitchen I just got some schoolwork paperwork put away emptied out a lunchbox from the day before that was on the counter and getting some hand wash dishes put away and everything that's out on the counter is that just needs to be put away that's not in its place that it belongs. I also have a couple of packages here on the counter that I need to get opened. One of them was my Scentbird monthly subscription. Got some perfumes and then the other one was our refills for our Haya vitamins for the kids. Someone must think I'm pretty fly right now <laughs> Maybe I'm going crazy Can't catch a break lately And I just wonder what you gotta do What you gotta do to get a little baby. Now I've got everything cleared off the counters and put away I'm gonna get to work on the dishes So the dishes in the dishwasher are clean I'm gonna get all of those put away now Did somebody just say hello? Nah, I'm flying Han style, solo. Do you like that Star Wars reference, baby? There's more where that came from. Catch a movie later? Guess I'll see you around. I got a busy week too. I'm watching X-Files. Could be the Mai Tai doing things. But hey, you know what? I'm calling that a win. My mom says love's not easy. Just keep your head held high. People will find you pretty. I just wonder where they are. Now I've got the dishwasher unloaded and there's just a few dirty dishes in the sink from this morning's breakfast and snacks last night. So I'm going to get all these dirty dishes loaded up into the dishwasher. Now I'm taking some of my Mrs. Meyers Iowa Pine dish soap and squirting that into the sink and then I'm just using this scrub brush that I keep under the sink specifically for scrubbing out the sink. I'm going to get that all scrubbed out and rinsed out. Now 
What you gotta do, what you gotta do to get a little more Dishes are done and the sink is nice and clean. So I'm just gonna take some of my Thebes cleaner, this is from Young Living, and I'm just gonna spray down the counters and get this island all wiped down. What you do Now moving on to the other side of the kitchen, I'm also using my Thieves Cleaner to wipe down this side of the counters. And then for the stove top, I'm gonna spray that down with Thieves Cleaner and then also the Pink Stuff Foaming Cleaner. I think it says it's a bathroom cleaner, but it works on everything. And the Pink Stuff does a really good job of like breaking stuff up and it's a great cleaner. For, they have tons of different variations of it, but this is almost empty. So I sprayed that on there. I'm gonna let that sit for a little bit while we clean out the microwave. My microwave is looking nasty. We microwaved something, I don't even know what it was, but it like popped in there, like not exploded, but I think it had like, it was like chicken with seasoning on it or something. And it just like the seasoning like crackled in there and it went everywhere. So I just have a hot soapy towel to wipe out the inside of the microwave and also the inside of the microwave door. And then I put the plate for the microwave into the dishwasher so that can run through a dishwasher cycle and get clean. Now for the outside of the microwave, I'm using my Blue Land glass cleaner to wipe that down. Now that pink stuff in Thieves Cleaner has been sitting while I was working on the microwave. So now I'm just taking a scrub daddy sponge and I'm gonna scrub that down and then take a dry towel and wipe all of this up. Now I'm just gonna finish wiping up the rest of the counters with my Thieves Cleaner and these white rags that I use. I think I've shared them with you guys a couple times before, but I just buy the pack of plain white wash rags from Walmart. They're super inexpensive, it's a pretty big pack. I think it's Mainstays brand. I don't know, I'll link it in the description box for you guys, but they make great cleaning rags. So that is what I use for mostly everything and they're cheap to replace whenever they start getting holes in them and stuff so i will link those for you but now we're moving on to the living room i already had a pile of clean clothes here on the couch that need to be folded so i'm gonna work on getting that folded now
I'm gonna take all of my stuff and Donnie's stuff that gets hung up in our closet and take that into our room. And now I am going to sort all of our socks out and get those sorted together and put in everybody's pile where they need to go. And then I'm gonna start taking all of these clothes and towels and everything on the ottoman and just sort them out into the rooms they need to go to. Uh, mine and Donnie's clothes I'm just setting in our bedroom and when I go in there to clean our room later, we will get those clothes put away. I'm also going to grab the basket of dirty clothes from my bathroom and take that into the laundry room and get it started in the wash. Now I have this basket of clothes that is all Brody's clothes. I've been doing the kids laundry like this for a little while now, just doing Braden's clothes all together, Brody's clothes all together, Brooklyn's clothes all together because it makes it easy when I go to fold it and put it away. So this is all Brody's clothes. I'm gonna get all of these folded and then put them into that basket because that's his basket for his room. So then I'll just take that up to his room. Then it's easy to get it all put away. Experience has made me We are done with Brody's clothes, so I'm gonna run those up to his room and then come back down and get the living room straightened up, just fix the pillows and put blankets away and stuff like that. Even when my teardrops start to dry. Now I'm just gonna spray down the entertainment center here with that thieves cleaner again and get all of this stuff wiped down. Taking all the advice there is and none of it has helped. I'm so tired of love songs, sick and tired of love songs. I'm so tired of you. Ooh, sick and tired Moving on over to the dining room, I'm going to spray down the dining room table with my thieves cleaner, get that all wiped down, and then I'm also going to wipe down the bookshelf in the dining room as well. So while we were traveling over the summer, I actually gave my mother-in-law one of my Monstera plants and it's thriving in her apartment. And then my brother-in-law and my sister were actually watching my other one, this big one. And when they moved over here to Idaho, um, we transported the plants and some of them got damaged. So I actually ended up cutting them down and I'm doing a little propagation and they are growing some amazing root systems right now. And then like the main base of that Monstera is actually sprouting new growth. And then also my Pothos is growing new growth because that one was really damaged, but I'm excited my plants from our old house are making a comeback. So that way then I can have some pretty 
Monsteras and Pothos, those are my favorite. I can have those here in our new house too. But now we are moving on to the sliding glass door. It's always so hard to film cleaning the sliding glass door because it's backlit and it was a super sunny day. So uh, I'm just a dark shadow cleaning these sliding glass doors, but I'm using my Blue Land glass cleaner and I'm gonna wipe down the inside and the outside of the sliding glass door here in the dining room. Headed into the guest room now. I am just going to move everything off the counter so I can spray it down. I'm using Thieves Cleaner on the counter. And then I'm going to grab my Blue Land glass cleaner and spray that on the mirror and get that wiped down. a faster car i'm gonna be myself i'm gonna be someone else i'm gonna be myself i'm gonna be someone else i'm gonna skip my breaks i'm gonna make mistakes i'm gonna skip my breaks i'm gonna make mistakes i'm gonna be myself i'm gonna be someone else i'm gonna be myself i'm gonna be someone else i'm gonna skip my breaks i'm gonna now I'm using my Blue Land bathroom cleaner to spray down the toilet and I'll just use one of those cleaning rags to wipe it all down. And then I'm gonna use my Clorox wand to clean the inside of the bowl. Think and break me. Not a sound sneaking out through your window into the night where we were meant to be. Skipping town, searching for no. Toilet is all cleaned, so now I'm grabbing some Clorox wipes and I'm just gonna wipe down the baseboards and the floor around the toilet. And then I'm also going to change out the trash can liner. I just use grocery bags for that because I grocery shop and I get plastic bags and then we save them to use for the little trash cans and it's perfect. We don't need no sleep and I know we will be all right if only for tonight. All right, the guest bathroom is all clean and now we've got some Valentine's flowers that are nice and crispy. So I'm gonna get those thrown away and I just grabbed another cleaning rag. All of my white ones are now dirty and need to be washed. So my last resort is these very few microfiber cloths that I have. I do not love using them because I don't like how they feel on my hands, but Wipe down the buffet with these cleaner and a microfiber cloth and now we are moving into the office slash guest room slash kids hang out play video games on the computer room. Um, I am going to just pick up and put away in here, put blankets away, fix up the pillows and call it good in here. I'm keeping you close to me, we don't need no sleep. I 
am going to be starting my robot vacuum here shortly. So I'm going to go ahead and get the bar stools put up on the counter and then also do the same thing with the dining room chairs because I love my robot, robot vacuum. I've been running it multiple times a week lately, but it gets stuck under my chairs. Like it doesn't realize that it, it'll get under there and get trapped. So I just started putting my chairs up and it makes it a whole lot easier. And then it actually like fully cleans um, under the bar stools where there's always crumbs from the kids because that's where they eat breakfast. And then also the rug in the dining room works out just to put that stuff up there. So did that, now I am taking out the trash and I'm gonna put a new trash bag in the trash can as well. Now we are moving on to my bedroom. We've got a little bit of a mess in here. So found some more dirty clothes. I'm gonna throw those out of my room so I can go put those in the laundry room. And one of my jackets that I like to hang by the front door, I tossed that out of my room as well. I'm gonna get my bed made first. He brings me flowers on a Tuesday. He gives me good love and something that I never thought existed. I know what I need, ain't gonna lie. I know what I want, speak in my mind. I've got my bed made. I'm gonna get my dresser cleared off so there's clean clothes that need to be put away and then I have a couple pair of jeans here on the floor that I need to fold and put into my dresser as well. Now I'm just using that same Thieves cleaner and I'm gonna wipe down my dresser here. And then I have a pair of shoes and a pair of slippers that I need to put away. So I'm gonna grab those, go put them away in my closet. And then I'm also going to wipe down both of our nightstands with the same Thieves cleaner. I stuck up on that stuff a couple years ago and you literally use a cap full of it. I don't sell this stuff by the way, I just love it. Um, but you just use a little cap full of the Thieves concentrate with uh, filtered water in a spray bottle and it smells amazing it cleans amazing and it's like all natural and all that kind of stuff but it smells so good I love the smell of it so I literally stocked up years ago and I still have so much of it like two full bottles because you barely have to use any anyways uh, that's what I used to wipe down my bedroom basically the whole house today so moving on to my bathroom, I'm just getting all of my stuff off of the bathroom counter, putting that away so then I can just do a quick wipe down in here. I'm starting to like rush because <laughs> I am running out of time to clean today and I still have to do the entire upstairs, um, like a quick pickup, not like a full deep clean obviously upstairs, the kids rooms. I gotta get up there too. So I'm just quickly wiping down the counter. I am gonna wipe out the sinks and then I'm just gonna like do a quick spot clean of the mirror really quick. There was just like three spots that I needed to wipe down before I wipe out the sinks. I'm also going to take the bath mat that's in front of our shower and hang that up. I'm kind of just prepping for my robot vacuum to go throughout the house. 
so I'm getting that up off the floor. And I have it set on the app for my robot vacuum. The only place that it does not go is on this gray rug in my bedroom. It doesn't do, the robot vacuums are for sure not made for like shag rugs. And this is the only like shaggy style rug we have in the house. And um, so I just have this rug set as like a no go zone. So I'm just taking my regular vacuum. I'm gonna vacuum this rug since I am gonna have my robot vacuum do the entire downstairs for me because it does vacuum and mop. So it just saves me time. I just make sure there's no cords or clothes or anything on the floor. Like I just do a quick pickup before I run it and it's a huge time saver. So now I'm gonna get my vacuum ready to go. I'm just filling up the water tank and then I'm adding the mop pad. Um, I just take the mop pad off after every time I use it and throw it in the wash. That's what you're supposed to do, otherwise it will get stanky. But I fill up the water tank with water. I don't add anything else to it, you're not supposed to, but I am gonna take some of this Fighting Five essential oil and just put a few drops on the bottom because then it just makes the house smell really good. It's Fighting Five from Eden's Garden. That's where I get most of my oils for my oil diffuser, but it smells exactly like Thebes and I love that smell. So I will link my robot vacuum in the description box. I've had this for a couple of years, but it's the Dream, Dreamy Tech uh, D10 Plus, I believe. The base is also self-emptying and it holds like 45 days of vacuum dust in there before you have to empty out the bag that's in the base. So. I seriously love this thing and I love that it mops for me. So anyways, we're heading upstairs now and I am just going to get Brayden's bed made and vacuum in here. He, and I think it's been a while since you guys have seen the kids' rooms. Actually, I think I just did a video, like a kids' room refresh video possibly. Not that long ago. However, you guys will notice Braden's Prime collection and his Funko Pop collection, his Lego collection. He is a collector for sure. But lately, actually probably the last six months or so, like since summer when the Prime Hydration started becoming really popular with all the middle schoolers, he's been into collecting his Prime bottles. So his desk is covered in empty Prime bottles. <laughs> it's cute. Um, and then the Prime Energy cans on his nightstand. I promise you, my children do not drink energy drinks. Those are the energy drinks that I have tried from Prime, and then he wanted to add them to his collection because we had the cans, so that that's why he has those. I'm not a huge fan of them, but I tried them because my kids wanted me to try them, so that's that. But I got his bed made for him. Typically, they do this stuff. They do a great job of keeping their rooms clean which I'm so grateful for. I just go in and like wipe things down, dust, vacuum every once in a while, you know, um, might make their beds for them just to be kind, but got his room picked up and now his basket of clean clothes is done from the dryer. So I'm gonna get these just folded up here in his room and just go ahead and put them away as I'm going.
I got all of Braden's clean clothes put away and his room picked up and vacuumed. So now we are gonna move on to Brody's room and I'm gonna do pretty much the same thing in here. I'm gonna make his bed and put his clean clothes away. However, two days before I filmed this video, we rearranged his room, like did a deep clean on his room. And a couple days before that, we did the same thing, like deep cleaned and rearranged Berkeley's room. So their rooms don't need to be vacuumed or wiped down or anything like that today. Since I rearranged and deep cleaned Berkeley and Brody's room because they wanted to, they asked me to rearrange and Brody's like, mom, can you revamp my room like you did Berkeley's room? So I did and I asked Brayden if he wanted to rearrange his room, but he's got all of his collectibles like perfectly how he wants them and he likes his bed where it is. And so he's like, no thanks, like I like how my room is, let's just leave it. So his room was good, but um, love how Brody's room is now that we like rearranged it. And same with Berkeley, um, we actually ended up doing all of her bins of toys in her closet. So it's just like, almost looks like a big girl room now. It's so cute, you guys will see that here shortly. But I'm just gonna finish up getting Brody's clothes put away. That's all I had to do in here was his bed and his clothes. So now in Berkeley's room, she just has a few clean clothes here on her bed that I'm going to put away. And she was actually sitting at her desk working on an art project, kind of down in the corner. You can barely see her little hair down there. But I'm just making her bed and putting those few clothes away in here so she can keep working on her art project. And like I said, I had just vacuumed and deep cleaned in her room and wiped everything down so that didn't need to be done today. But her room is so cute. Um, you didn't really get to see a whole lot of it. but. She's got a really cute like bookshelf and um, a little shelf for her like cheer awards and sports stuff. And then we actually put the Barbie dream house out in the hallway and she just informed me that she would like to sell it. So I guess that's on my list of to do's because nobody's playing with the Barbie dream house anymore apparently. But anyways, I got the um, hallway upstairs all vacuumed and then I'm also vacuuming off the stairs. And apparently my battery, my camera battery died while I was filming vacuuming the stairs. So I only got a short clip of vacuuming part of the stairs. But you guys get the gist, I vacuumed off the stairs. They get so dusty. And so I got that taken care of. And then I'm just gonna head downstairs and I am going to put the bar stools and the dining room chairs back down because our robot vacuum did its job. The floors are all clean. Thank you so much, so helpful. <laughs> but don't forget to check the description box. So you guys can check out the Wild Body Wash and Deodorant. I'm seriously loving that stuff so much. You guys, it smells so freaking good. But I just wanted to say thank you so much for clicking on this video. And if you made it to the end of this video, leave me a little unicorn emoji in the comments so I know that you are the real MVP sticking it out to the end. I appreciate you guys so much for taking time out of your day. I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. And I will see you guys again very, very soon in my next video. Bye.